Hello my good caterpillars and today we are doing a giant collective haul from I think April, May, yeah, April and May so it's like two months worth of stuff that I've bought on over the past two months basically and I got things from Walmart, Shoppers, um, Desium or The Ordinary and Winners of course, Shoppers, Winners, Walmart, Desium. Um, and a couple things online so let's get into the fun exciting stuff I guess we will start with the stuff that I got from um, shoppers I guess so I got three things from shoppers drug mart I got some Mark Anthony extra strength argan cream of Morocco 100% sulfate free shampoo this was on sale so I picked this one up and then I got the Mark Anthony volumizing collagen bamboo salt sulfate free conditioner these two didn't have any um, drying alcohols in them I think most of their shampoos don't but their conditioners do so this one said it didn't have any drying alcohol so this is why I got this one this one is supposed to be plumps fills and thickens thin fat thin fine flat hair extra lightweight this one is it says plumps fills and thickens thin fine flat hair extra lightweight hydrates dry hair and adds shine and it says it's bon bon um biotin and silica infused which is good for my hair because i have very um thin flat dry hair so I'm excited to try that one out and then also the last thing I have from shoppers is the pixie rose cream cleanser this was on sale or something I think a little bit off or something like that or you got points or something because so I picked this up which I'm super excited to try this um, rose cream cleanser so I'll let you guys know how I get along with this once I start using it because I've got a lot of cream cleansers I gotta go through so yeah on to the stuff that I got from Winners, which is always like my favorite store. I love finding things from Winners. So I picked up this um, Dirty Works Hydrating Facial Mist. Play it cool. It's kind of like the Evian Facial Mist as well. This one was $6.99. I do really like it. It doesn't have any dry alcohols in it. It just has water and nitrogen, I guess, basically. <laughs> so yeah, it's a nice facial mist. I really like it. Um, I've used it a bit, so yeah. I picked up some of these bright brightening and hydrating rose petal eye masks the phone is ringing sorry the phone was ringing as i was saying i got these um rose petal eye masks from nature's love they're brightening and hydrating because i've had really dry under eyes they've been like feeling flaking and peeling and cracking and so i picked up some of these i've used some of them they're really nice actually uh, I kind of like destroyed the bottom of the box to get into them but yeah they were five and how much were these? I did have a price on them somewhere. Oh $4.99 for five of them so I thought that was a pretty good deal from Winners. They also had um, I found this Clinique Moisture Surge Extend Thirst Relief for $10 and I love this stuff. I've tried the um, just the regular moisture surge and it's really nice so I thought I'd pick this up and it's only $10 so I thought that was a pretty good deal for Clinique at Winners. I also found this Ole Henderson Love to Fly Jet Set Facial Water Trios. It's got the Nurture Me Love Facial Water which soothes and hydrates with cucumber, chamomile, and pro vitamin B5 and then the True Facial Water um, and then the Grease Relief Facial Water. So, yeah, they're also two fluid ounces, just under 60 mils, each, all three of them. And this was only $13. I thought that was a pretty good price because one of these individual ones they had, um, the set was for the same size, was like $12.99. So I thought the set was a better deal for the little, um, water trios. So, yeah. Facial mist, because I like to travel with them, so they'll be nice and easy to do that with. I also found an Ole Henderson Express the Truth Cream. Um, it's a cream that helps fight the look of wrinkles and African red tea, anguish C, and vitamin C facial moisturizer for $10. And it's a 
50 ml uh, facial moisturizer so I thought that was a pretty good deal I don't think this has dry alcohols in it either and Ole Henderson is supposed to be a really good brand so I thought I'd try that and then I saw this which I love this um, it's the Herbitane Hyaluronic Acid Daily Facial Serum this is $10 and it's a 60 ml bottle it lasts me about two months basically and every time I see one of these I pick them up because this is my favorite hyaluronic acid and it lasts me a really long time so yeah Speaking on the lines of hyaluronic acid, I found this stuff on a website um, called Yes Style. Another YouTuber recommended it. I was watching Stephanie Nichols and she was saying this is a really good hyaluronic acid and it's like 150 mils. I'll leave a link. Oh, it's 170 mils and I'll leave a link down below of where you can find this because it's like, um, I forget what this calls and stuff. But it's hydrating lotion. I think it's like Habalola or something. I don't know. Um, because it's all in Chinese. But I hope this doesn't have drying alcohol in it. But it was like $18. Which I think is a really good deal for a 175ml bottle of hyaluronic acid. If it's good. Um, because this one is $10 for 60ml. And I thought this was a good price. So yeah, it's a really cool website. It has like... Um, Japanese and Korean stuff a lots of other things too but like for discounted prices and stuff so um, yeah I found this actually on Amazon but they do have a whole bunch of Japanese and Korean skincare products if you're interested in that stuff so I'll leave a link to that website down below as well but I got this off Amazon so but you can find it on that website I just like to see if I could find it on Amazon for cheaper and stuff which was the same price I ordered it from Amazon so I could get cash back from Ebates and if you don't know what Ebates is it's a website that you go and you link it to whatever page you're going for and you get cash back for whatever you're shopping for which is really cool and anyone can sign up for it I'll leave my link down below um, it's not sponsored or anything, but you can, I think when the more people sign up from your link, you get $5 or something. So when you sign up, if you use my link, then you'll get your own link and you can share with your friends and family to get $5 off every time they um, sign up for a link. And you just get cash back and stuff too from um, the website, but it's not sponsored by them. Just if you want to use it, you can. If you don't want to, that's fine too. But I really recommend if you do a lot of online shopping, check out Ebates. It's really good. On to the stuff from The Ordinary that I got and I purchased, made a... Um, made an order it actually just came today so I got some more of the ordinary glycolic acid um, toning solution I really like this stuff it's um, basically just like the pixie um, pixie glow tonic it does the exact same thing so I really like that and it's um, like um, eight fluid ounce bottle so it's much more it's like under ten dollars and it's um, more than more than the pixie and for a lot cheaper so yeah I like that one it's really nice I'm almost out of it then I picked up their lactic acid 5% with HA it says it's a mild lactic acid superficial peeling formulation I wanted to try this um, for my acne prone skin and then I also picked up this new vitamin C it's absorbic acid 8 plus alpha albumin 2% it's a vitamin C derivative so I thought I'd pick this one up and try it so I'll let you guys know how I get along with these two video these two uh, maybe in an empties or something or if you'd like I can do I don't know that much about them but yeah anyways the ordinary is like uh, an affordable skin company affordable skincare so leave that link down below if you guys want to check out the ordinary as well they have like a really good affordable skincare for really good prices so Let's get into the stuff that I got from Walmart. So the first thing I found in Walmart, I have been looking for this on the hunt and I found it in a Walmart like an hour away from me. And so every time I go there, I check and see if they had it in my the sh color I wanted, the shade I wanted. They had my color in stock. So it's the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer and it's in porcelain. And um, I've used this a couple times um, I've used it for about a week. It's medium to full coverage and it started to break me out after a week so I don't think I can wear this consistently in a row but I do really like 
this um, foundation. It is really nice. It is definitely full coverage. It is lightweight, um, but it did break me out when I wore it for more than a week. But I have been on the hunt for this ever since it came out. I really wanted to try it, but it didn't come out in Canada. Milani products I find are really hard to find in Canada, so I was waiting until I went to the States to find it, but then I found it in a Walmart, so I was really excited. And then I also got um, this Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. Um, it's in 01 Fair. I don't know what that one's like, but I picked that one up. And I picked up their Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. I really want to try the other setting spray, but every time I've gone there too, they don't have that setting spray, but they had this one the last time I was there. So I thought I would try and pick it up. Even though I do have more oily skin, I thought maybe I could wear this in the winter or something. So, yeah. Um, I wanted... Because all I have right now are glowy and illuminating um, foundations right now, or the Milani one that breaks me out after a week so I can't wear that one every day, I thought I would pick up a more mattifying foundation because it is getting more hot in the summer and I do have combo skin and my face does kind of get more shiny in the summer. So I thought I'd pick up the Rimmel London Stay Liquid Mousse Foundation in Light Porcelain. It's a matte foundation. I really love the um, powder by this brand. Um, like I like their other foundations too, so I thought I'd pick this one up as well. And then I thought um, this was on sale, so I thought I'd pick this up. That's the Cover Girl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin in 510 Fair. Since the summer is coming up, and I do like to wear a light BB cream in the summer as well. And I wore this last year. I actually have a review of it, so I'll link that down below. Um, but I really like this for oily skin. It's a really nice lightweight BB cream. I really like that. I also picked up some setting spray. This is the Hard Candy Oil Control 12 Hour Mattifying Setting Spray. Um, what I've decided to do, since I couldn't get the Wet n Wild stuff, I thought I'd pick this up and then put it in the Wet n Wild bottle because then I could have the Wet n Wild spritzer and still have a mattifying setting spray for the summer. So. There's that. I also, like I said, I wanted to try the Herbal Essence um, Rose Hip Shampoo and Conditioner. So I thought I would pick up these two. Because um, they smell so good, even though it has drying alcohols in it, which I'm aware of. Um, but I just really like the scent of this rose shampoo, and so I thought I'd try it. I picked up a new detangler. This is the Pantene Pro Leave-In Conditioner Daily Re Moisture Renewal Detangler Lax and Hydration. I haven't tried this specific one, but I've tried the blue one um, when I really like it. It's a really good detangler, so I thought I'd pick this one up because I need as moisture as I can get in my hair. And then I picked up more of these... Um, Yes to Miracle Oil Calming and Soothing um, Primrose Oil Mud Masks. These ones are so amazing. They leave my skin feeling so soft afterwards. So I picked up two. I wish this came in a pot because I totally would buy it instead of using these little sachets. But I love it. My skin feels so soft. And yeah. And it's pink too, which is kind of cool. And then the last thing I picked up is the Moroccan Oil Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Extra Penetrating Oil for my hair. To put on the ends of my hair because they're getting really dry and my hairdresser recommended me putting these on the ends of my hair. Um, because I'm trying to go longer than two days to wash my hair. So my hair gets really dry at the end so I start putting this stuff in the bottom of it. So... Yeah, that is everything from my haul from April and May. So it's a giant two-month collective haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye.